Soil and water are two important parts of the environment. I'm an environmental chemist and I was always interested in environmental sciences. I have mainly dealt with water and this is my chance here to couple um, chemistry and biology. By coupling soil and water fields, you can couple biology and chemistry. We are interested in how air and land and water determine where and how life exists on Earth. And at the same time, we know that all forms of life, from microbes to humans, they have the power to change their environment. So by looking at the soil and water interface, we can study the biology, and geology and chemistry, how these systems are coupled and how life and Earth interact. So soils are the most uh, diverse ecosystem on Earth. Each gram of soil hosts millions and billions of microorganisms from thousands of species. And these microorganisms are crucial to keeping our fields fertile and our water sources clean. And we have to study who they are and how they work if we want to grow food more sustainably. We use molecular techniques and stable isotopes to study how microbes break carbon in soil. I study soil because it can help us mitigate climate change. We study soil and water not only because survival of mankind depends on it, but also because it's great adventure. Contaminated sediments are harmful for freshwater ecosystems and human health. Ion and phosphorus cycle is crucial in the management of sediment and the improvement of water quality. Water movement influences chemical reactions in the sediment water interface. Our research is important for policy and decision makers. I study soil microbiology. I love my job. I'm interested in studying soil and water because they are both elements which are very important for functioning of ecosystems around us. I study plant-soil microorganism interaction and how water affects the functioning of the system as a whole. I'm studying peatlands in the Shumova Mountains where is interaction of water and soil and I'm interested how peatlands are useful for us. I started studying aquatic vertebrates like 10 years ago now and even now I still find that it's fascinating. I've always been passionate about aquatic insects since my childhood. And a few years back I found that they are an ideal case study group to look at the consequences of climate change on small standing water bodies. I study this subject because contamination of soil and drinking water sources is probably one of the most problematic issues for the nearest future. 